Okay, so we did our lab on gyroscopic precession. And, yeah. Okay, so the purposes of this lab was we wanted to know why gyroscopes seemingly defy gravity because they don't actually do it, but it looks like it. So we looked into how the spin, angular velocity, the mass of the wheel, and the radius of the precession affect the precession frequency of a gyroscope. So um, we changed the spin angular velocity, which is how fast the wheel is spinning around its own axis. And um, we saw how that um, affected the precession, which is the precession is how like the angular velocity of the gyroscope as it goes around in a horizontal plane, I think. And so, um, and then we also changed the mass hanging from the gyroscope and the radius of the gyroscope from the string that it was hanging from. Okay, so this is sort of a diagram. So we started with it spinning, like we held it like this, and the wheel was like this, and Donovan had a drill that had, had its bit inserted into another wheel, so he spun the drill up, which spun the other wheel up that we're actually doing the testing on, and then we hooked it into the string that was hung from the ceiling right here, and then once we let go, it rotated in this direction, like that. Yeah. We also had a photo gate on the axle so we could measure its angle velocity as we're spinning too. And then this is a diagram of how we tried to find the moment of inertia for our, the specific wheel we were using. Um, it's it turns out that method was um, ridiculously prone to error because of friction, and so we ended up not really using that data at all. But it was, it was cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, no. I'll, so we should probably see that. Video. So this is um, how our experiment actually works. <coughs> oh, <no>. mm. <laughs> so we're not gonna have counts. time to get. Dang. Yep, sorry. Okay. Um, okay. Wow. Yeah. So, you can go. Um, basically, we derived it, and this is the important one. So, we found that the precession frequency equals the torque on the wheel divided by the angular momentum of the wheel. Yeah. And so, yeah. And basically, um, because torque and angular momentum are cross products, as the wheel spins this way, the angular momentum is pointing. Good lord. <laughs> yes. So, um, uh, the velocity of the wheel was, if the velocity of the wheel is this direction, so it's spinning like this, and the radius is down, but, um, so like, the axis of the wheel is right here, then the radius to the edge of the wheel is here, then um, when you multiply the vectors with the cross product, the resultant vector is in the direction of your thumb points, and um, that's a convenient right-hand rule. So, like, if you have a cross product, the your pointer finger goes in the direction of the first vector, or vector A, and then your middle finger goes in the direction of vector B, and then your thumb points in the direction of the resultant vector. <coughs> so it's our data. It's <laughs> a lot of data. Okay, so this is our graph for part one. So we graph angular velocity of the precession versus the inverse of angular momentum because the the angular velocity of the precession varies indirectly with angular momentum, so we had the inverse of that axis, and the slope ended up being torque. Uh, part two, um, we graphed angular velocity versus torque, and this it was linear already, so the slope was one over the angular uh, momentum, and then it was the same thing for the last part. So we varied radius instead of mass. So um, we found that as the angular momentum increases, the precession frequency decreases, which uh, makes sense because there's more 
that the same torque has to move to process the wheel. And then um, as the mass increased, um, the torque on the wheel increased, and um, so the angular velocity of the precession increased as well. So when we put more mass on the wheel, then it precessed faster. And then as um, we increased the distance from the wheel to the string it was hanging from, um, the torque increased again. And so the precession frequency, or the precession um, angular velocity increased as well. Question? Yes, Dorothea. Why did you think divers go? So, <laughs> that's good. That's a problem. So, it's basically just a uh, spinning thing. Um, so, we had a wheel. It was just a bicycle wheel that had, um, that was free to rotate about an axis. And so as it spins, it gets angular momentum. But um, because of the way gyroscopes are, um, the angular momentum is like the same um, for all of the points on the, or it's like the same for the whole thing if you take the angular momentum relative to the axis of rotation. Okay. <laughs> so it gains momentum and never goes anywhere, like Bernie Sanders. Yeah. <laughs> What's precession velocity? It's so how fast it went around, like not how fast it was spinning, but how fast it rotated around on the string. So it's rotating mm -hmm. around on the string See, this way. That's while why we the had our video. Yeah. That the way. video would make yeah. it a lot clearer. Okay. And it's not. We see the video <laughs> tomorrow or something. Okay. Cool. Thanks, guys.